Once upon a time, the internet assigned numbers of authority functions were all performed by one person, John Postel. He had a notebook and index cards on which he kept the names of large computers and the numbers associated with them. Almost 20 years later, the internet has grown tremendously and the IANA functions can no longer be managed by just one person. Today, that job belongs to ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. And what are the IANA functions? Well, managing the allocation of internet numbering resources is one. Administering the domain name system associated with those numbers is another. And a third function is maintaining the registry of technical protocol parameters that helps keep the internet unified. Taking together, the IANA functions play a critical role in ensuring you get where you want to go online through its system of unique identifiers. Here's an example. The internet protocol or IP address 192.04322 is ICANN's unique identifier. But so is the domain name ICANN.org, and that's a lot easier to remember. Type or paste it into your browser and that domain name is sent to a server which in turn translates the name back into the number and connects your computer to ICANN.org. It sounds simple, but it's a little more complicated than that. For instance, there are actually two kinds of IP addresses. The original version 4 and now the new and improved version 6. Engineers originally created 4 billion IPv4 addresses thinking that would be plenty, but we were an out. But look how many IPv6 addresses are now available. Maybe enough to last everyone and everything forever. ICANN allocates blocks of the numbers to five regional internet registries across the world. The IIRs are non-profit organizations that administer, distribute and register IP addresses and autonomous system numbers within their region. AFRINIC for Africa, APNIC for Asia Pacific, ARIN for North America and parts of the Caribbean, LACNIC for Latin America and parts of the Caribbean, RIPE NCC for Europe, the Middle East and parts of Central Asia. They're called Autonomous System Numbers because they identify the networks that route them, connecting to other networks controlled by other organizations. In managing the domain name system within IANA, ICANN maintains the root zone database which is the authoritative record of all the top-level domains everything to the right of the dot. And there are different kinds of top-level domains or TLDs, such as two-letter country code TLDs generally used or reserved for a country, a sovereign state, or a dependent territory. There are generic TLDs such as .com and .org, and now new generic top-level domains, thanks to a program developed to increase competition and choice in the domain name space. There were only about two dozen GTLDs before the new GTLD program. Now there are hundreds of them. There are also internationalized domain names or IDNs. Such domain names could contain letters or characters from non-Latin scripts, for example Arabic or Chinese, enabling internet users to access domain names in their own language. Finally, that part of the IANA function is called protocol parameters. That function involves maintaining the registries for many of the codes and numbers that keep the internet operating as a cohesive unit. ICANN does this as well in coordination with the IETF, the Internet Engineering Task Force. Now you see how important the IANA functions are to the smooth operation of the Internet. But a big change is about to happen in the stewardship of the IANA functions. The United States government always has had that authority. Originally it belonged to the US Department of Defense's Advanced Research Program Agency, but it asked the University of Southern California and John Postel to do the IANA work. In 1998, the same year ICANN was created, President Clinton transferred the stewardship of IANA to the new National Telecommunication and Information Administration, an agency of the U.S. Commerce Department. Three years later, NTAA selected ICANN to manage the IANA function, and ICANN has been doing it ever since. But in March 2014, NTAA said the U.S. government would relinquish its stewardship of the IANA functions to the global multi-stakeholder community. Learn more about the transition in our website.